Hey guys, ZenRPG here and today I'm going to show you how I made these LED strips sync to my monitor. So the things that you'll be needing to make this project are an Arduino Uno Serial to USB port to connect the Arduino to the computer A phone charger and an Android data cable to power the LEDs. And of course, the addressable RGB LEDs. So let's get to work. First, you need to measure the length and the height of your screen. I was able to fit 15 LEDs on the top and the bottom and about 9 LEDs on the sides. Cut the required length of LEDs. Before placing the LED strips, make sure that the arrows are pointing in one direction and making a complete circle. For now, use some sticky tape to stick the LED strips onto the monitor. Now you need to make some connections on each corner by soldering. After making some connections, now it was time to permanently stick the LEDs to the monitor. Some hot glue on each edge was enough to get the job done. Now cut the USB Android cable to get the black and the red wire out. The red wire has 5 volts while the black wire is ground. Now you need to make some connections according to the schematics. The red wire on the USB cable will go into the 5 volts of the LED and the black wire will go to the ground of the microcontroller and from there to the ground on the LED strips. I use pin number 8 as data pin. So I made all the connections and now it was time to configure the software. The softwares that you'll be needing are the Arduino IDE, the fast LED zip file, the Adelaide Sketch and the Prismatic software. All the links are in the description. Now install the IDE. and open it. Now add the fast LED zip file. Now extract the Adelaide sketch and open it. Here write the total number of LEDs that you are using and the data pin that you are also using. Also remember this serial rate for later use. Now set the COM port 
to your Arduino's COM port and remember it for later use. And upload the sketch. Now install the Prismatic software. And run it. Choose Air Light. Now write the correct COM port and the right serial rate. Write the number of LEDs for top and bottom and also the sides. Leave the thickness at 15%. If you don't have a stand, then leave the stand width at 0. The boxes must match the direction of your LED strips. Now adjust the colors till you see a white light being reflected from your wall. Adjust the overall brightness and the brightness threshold to your needs. And there you have it. Like this video if it helped you, subscribe to my channel and add me on Facebook and I'll see you guys in the next video.